Well, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen Benjamin, and today we're going to be talking about things that you'll need for your wedding day for touch-ups. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. So first, it's a good to have a good understanding of what your skin type is like. So if for say that you have oily skin, um, that you make sure at the trial, you go over those issues with the makeup artist. Um, you can kind of do any type of corrections with uh, primers and making sure that you use the, the right foundation on your skin so that you don't have any oil breakthrough. Um, but if perhaps you do, um, and you've noticed that at other events that your skin, you know, has a tendency to kind of uh, wear off throughout the day, you're going to want to talk to the artist about what type of setting powder or finishing powder you can be using on your skin to touch up throughout the day, whether that be blotting papers or just like a finishing powder so that you can lightly touch it up so that you don't look shiny. And so here with my company, we use primers, we use long wearing um, foundations, and we also use airbrush foundation and that all of these have, a, you know, they don't transfer and they have a long wear throughout the entire day. So up to like 16 hours in most cases. So you don't have to worry about it too much, but it's good to have, make sure you have a good understanding of what type of foundation you're gonna be using. You really wanna have a good understanding of what exactly you're going to need so that you can have those items with you on wedding day if you in fact are gonna be doing the touch-ups. So whether or not that's going to be a concealer to put underneath your eye, if you have, if you plan on, you know, crying, or if you don't plan on crying, and you know, you get a smudge, most likely it would be underneath the eye area. So you would want to touch that up with the concealer that was used. Um, another item would be using like a setting powder to kind of touch up any oil that may have broken through um, throughout the day, depending on what the weather is going to be like. And in every case, just about every case, you will need your lip touch up because with eating and drinking, lips will just not stay throughout the entire day. Um, so that's for the face. Now for the hair, you're gonna want a few extra bobby pins to kind of put any loose pieces that may have fallen down. Uh, if you have a curling iron and you wanna recurl these front pieces in the front, you can touch those up. There's only a certain amount of spray and a certain amount of curl that we can put in the front pieces of the hair so that they would stay throughout the day. And if your hair is straight, like they're gonna have a tendency just to go straight. And if you're okay with that, like the way that that looks, then just leave them straight. Like I'm fine if my hair goes straight in the front. I don't really want like ringlets, but, um, but that's up to you. That's your preference and you can decide whether or not you need that. So you wanna bring along maybe, like I said, a couple of extra bobby pins, some hairspray, maybe a curling iron to touch up the hair. But for the most part, everything should last you the entire day. Uh, so I really wouldn't worry about that too much. If you do plan to use uh, the company to do touch-ups, you're gonna wanna let them know exactly when you're gonna need them for. So like say you're finished at two o'clock with, uh, with your initial hair and makeup uh, services for everybody. Uh, and your ceremony is not until like five o'clock, right? Like there's gonna be that three hour lag time. Uh, are you doing a first look? Um, do you wanna touch up after your first look? Do you wanna touch up again before the ceremony at five o'clock? Um, and then you're like, if you're gonna be outside taking lots of pictures, like, you know, what's the weather like? Are you gonna have to come back in and have everything be done again? Um, so that's something you just need to you know, communicate clearly with the hair and makeup company so that there's no questions about what's needed from, from them. Because if you're only hiring them for three hours and your ceremony is at like, I don't know, six o'clock and at the third hour they're headed out the door and you're like, wait a minute, I want to touch up before my ceremony. Like you just need to communicate that clearly with them. Um, so they have an understanding of what exactly is needed. And then other than that, like that's really all that, that you have to worry about with touch-ups. Um, if you have hair extensions, usually the hair on the hair extensions holds up really well, so you don't have to worry about that. Even if your own hair has a tendency to go straight. And then, like I said, just a few bobby pins, some hairspray, curling iron, um, touch-up powder, you know, uh, lip color, and that should do it. So if you found this video inspiring and informative, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and then hitting that notification button so that you get notified when we upload our next video. Remember, beauty is a celebration of your self-expression, confidence, and your own uniqueness.